actually going to do it. And I think this is actually a good idea because uh, I, I really feel like Wokan just bodies Lucario. <laughs> so this is going to be interesting. With Smashville as the start too, both of these boys really want to die quick. They're, they're trying to get to top eight as fast as they can. So what I'm curious about what will happen here is how well is Unknown going to be able to edge guard? Because if you don't know how to get around some of Incineroar's tools, he's just going to keep coming back. I don't think you want to deal with Incineroar's heavy hitting moves with a revenge boost oh or God. with rage. Oh my God. You know, yeah, 119, he's a he is a heavy boy. Oh my, this is that's the thing that you have to be scared of, right? You saw how unknown immediately air dodged back to the stage. Because he would have got he would have gotten spiked if he would have just like <laughs> if he would have not. And this is one thing that I do want to know is that oh yeah, beautiful. But one thing that I do want to know from unknown is that he's, you know, using that back throw relatively early and it's not killing. Which does make it stale. And uh, I'm kind of interested as to, as, as to why. Maybe just for stage positioning? Yeah, I think it's a lot more important in this matchup just to make sure that your opponent is off the stage than if you're just going to go for the rock kill. Because, like, we've seen that Unknown is positioning himself fairly deep into the stage during the edge guards, and I think that's really important. We saw him get into position to punish the cross chop really well earlier. But, like, if he's just going to keep on asserting that situation where he's just going to keep forcing Vivi off stage, he doesn't have to worry about Incineroar smacking him across the head. He's just never going to be on stage to do it. This is very true. Incineroar actually having... Oh, well, I was going to say, Incineroar actually having a stronger back throw than Ness. Uh, you know, he had to be careful about getting... Uh, Unknown had to be careful about getting grabbed. But, you know, right now it's 0%. He's fine. Just for the record, that's just a minor misconception. Is it really? Yeah. Uh, Ness has a better one as uh, percentages grow. Ah, interesting. Thank you. So the knockback route on Ness's back there is pretty lit. Okay. But uh, Incineroar is right next to him and technically has a better one at like zero. Ah, uh, okay. Right. Nonetheless, we're not going to Thank you for clearing that up. No, it's all good. It's just like a, it's a little thing. They're both monstrosities when they get to grab. But that's a great edge guard by Unknown. And, you know, understanding when he can and can't go out there with Incineroar. Because Incineroar's upbeat, you know, very linear. You know when he's going to use it. And if you know when he's going to use it, you know when you can punish him before or after he uses it. Unknown's actually playing this match very well, to be honest. Yeah, and you know, on the flip side of things, I feel like there's a few things that Vivi could be changing about how to approach this matchup. We've seen that he's trying to contest a lot of Wolf's uh, moves. And not My a lot God. of tools are working. Yeah, man, like I said, this character <laughs> kills. Both of these boys are trying to die quick. I, I didn't think that was going to kill <laughs> that early, though, but you know. Right. Yeah, but the guy was also kind of sus. But that's, that's, that's the size of the point. Wolf at 90? Yeah, you're getting tossed. Anyways. I w what I want to see more from Vivi is more revenge and more uh, Darkest Lariat. Take advantage of the armor frames that Incinera brings to the table and the fact that Unknown is going for a lot more like tit for tats. He's not really trying to go for mix ups or just throwing out like raw smash attacks. Yeah, he's a very uh he's a very he's a very poke wolf, I would like to say. Like a very pokey wolf. As he's trying to get these hits to land here and there. Ooh, he needs to be careful. But, you know, VP does have a, it seems like he's having a hard time approaching, which Unknown is doing a great job of using the platform to maneuver around VP and kind of just saying, listen, man, I know, I know, I know your hits are, like, devastating. I'm going to make you work for them. Yeah, right now, this is just sort of looking like VP's Lucario, but red and thicker. He's doing a lot of approaching <laughs> with shields, and that's not a bad option, but you can't hit when you're in shields. Yeah, and keep in mind, it, you can, if you're actually just approaching with shield, it's, it takes four frames, four full frames for you to actually, you can't do it out of your initial dash. You actually have to wait until your dash is completely over to shield, which makes shield, you know, worse in this game. But you also have a lot of other options. You know, Incineroar's Nair is really good. You know, I do want to see that Darkest Larry a lot more. You want to put out that pressure. You want to put out that thought in your head, like, yo, if I get Darkest Lariat right now, I'm gonna die. You know, and, and right now I don't feel like I'm not scared of that. Seems like Vivi recognizes that as well as Game 2 takes us to Final Destination and slimming down to Lucario for the character swap. I feel like this might work out better just off of familiarity's purposes. I feel like Vivi still needs to give his Incineroar some time to cook, but we'll see with nowhere really to run how well Unknown's 
uh, manages to stave off a lot of the pressure from Lucario. Mm -hmm. And Final, actually, Final Destination actually being one of Wolf's best stage, the, the best stages because he, he he loves that. You know, he loves the space. He loves that his opponent also has nowhere to run. <laughs> And it's not closed off, so Wolf can maneuver very, very nicely. Ooh, great two-frame. Wow. Yo, he opted to land with extreme speed? No, the re that was the read, man. That was the read. He knew one. He saw unknown backing up. But my god, that <laughs> was not smash for a read. is <laughs> killer right now. Dude, I scooped him out of the sky for no reason. Mm -hmm. He's just like, mm, I don't like you living that long. <laughs> Exactly. Get out of here. And as you said before, based off of familiarity alone, you know, Vivi's main is Lucario. And right now, this is a completely different match as Luke 184, 84 percent Lucario has stage control. This is not where you want to be, man. Pretty soon that Aura Sphere will just snap onto the stage and you can't even recover. Bro, it honestly looks like like Vivi threw the pen to another player. Cause like what if this is, is that still Vivi? <laughs> <laughs> this is like superior furry Vivi. <laughs> There's this such a night and day difference from game one with how dominant Vivi is playing, how well he's controlling the ledge, the fact that he's forcing out from center stage so often, and like so dominantly with Lucario's tools. Exactly. Like, it shows like such a fundamental difference in like how Vivi can use this character's tools in this matchup. Like he knows what he can get away with, he knows what's safe and what's not. Wow, that was actually so smart. The <laughs> the little poop. <laughs> yeah, the, the jump off the double school, team. Yeah. Terrifying. And understanding how much lag he has that he has a, he has after that, and actually just back him. Great, great stuff by unknown to be honest. But you know, you're still at you're still almost at you're still at down percent. This is Lucario here, so you want to be careful. Yo, look at that patience. My man's just big chillers. Yeah. But right now, Lucario is at perfect percent for a fair to dare, and you know, because of the rage, he will die. Are you, are you talking about dying? Force palm out here. All right, like, damn. <laughs> I'm actually surprised that didn't give us the uh, dramatic cut in. <laughs> it's, I mean. Because usually you get the whole whoosh, and yeah, then it yeah, just yeah, gets yeah. evaporated, but uh, no whoosh. <laughs> but we do see Unknown trying to trying to re regain, trying to find a way to, to kind of just get get around, uh, you know, Vivi's wall. Vivi's playing such a well-balanced game of defense and offense. It's insane. Okay, I like the attempt, and I like that Vivi caught onto it and just actually uses up the overwhelm. It was such a sharp angle from Extreme Speed, too. It was like Vivi knew full and well he was ready to eat the claws, but he still wanted to be close in on him. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it was a win-win. I mean, it was like a damn if you, you, you had you had to go for it, basically. Right, right. It was like, well, if, if, if I get this, I, I, I'm alive. But if I don't, I die. So I don't have a choice. All right, this is VV with Aura right now. Not going to kill just yet. I like it. I, you know, I like that Unknown was just getting damaged by pummeling. But he needs to be aware of the fact that he kind of pummels too much. You know, just uh, exactly that at this point, down throw, forward throw, get that extra percent. <laughs> oh, was that down tilt? No, that was that was that. that oh was my tilt, but that god, was, yeah, you can, you know, you're so dead. Yup, because you can angle forward tilt three different ways, it's super, super scary on the ledge because you can actually use it to two frame as well, and that's what happened. And now we see a known act, you know, possible chance to make a comeback. Oh! Yo, he held up for the longest time. <laughs> for dear life. But VV, no slouch right now, just, oh my god. Ooh, beautiful. He almost got the back air out of it too, very impressive. VV wants to make damn sure that he does not lose his chance for top eight tonight. He still wants to stick with it. Unknown! Not going to die just yet, but I do like the attempt. He actually tried to scar, which is a mechanic that's actually back from Brawl, which can work, but you really have to catch people off guard. He tries to run back and go for the go for that smash, but he has to be careful. Yo, Lucario really with Aura and Rage equals, uh, like, that Aura Spear just goes right under that ledge, man. Okay. Vivi back in full form after that game, too. We'll see what, what happens for game three, because... Honestly, Unknown was cooking at the beginning of this, and Vivi just straight up turned off the stove. 
<laughs> like, that was a good one. That was, that was a good one. <laughs> the run back to FD, okay. Yeah, I don't think it's a bad. I mean, it's not a stage where you're uh, where you're ever gonna say no as Wolf. You know, um, like you should really never complain about FD. <laughs> That's fair. Like you'll always be fine with that as Wolf. So unknown just knows that he just has to adapt to the matchup rather than like it's, it's definitely not the stage. And I feel like Unknown was adapting by, towards the end of game two. The problem mm -hmm. was is that like he was too he far behind. So, yeah, he had so much more to work with. Like. Vivi just got such a strong lead for himself out in the gate. And he himself is doing a good job of recognizing Unknown's habits. He's doing a good job of, like, finding what he's going to throw out an aerial, how he's coming back from the ledge. Like, we see Vivi covering a lot of options with Aura Sphere and then preparing for the reaction. We've seen multiple times he's in position with the back air, but the timing's just a few frames off. It's only a matter of time before he manages to connect to one of them. Meanwhile, I feel like Unknown is doing a great job of feeling out the space that Lucario can occupy and then just sort of poking around that because Wolf has the hitboxes to get around Lucario. It's just a very strange matchup. Yeah, it's, you know, it's just that Vivi is playing, uh, you know, a great, t the, the greatest offense is like the best defense, you know, and that's the style that Vivi is playing as he, as we see Unknown, you know, doing these rising fairs, doing these nares, trying to get around Vivi, but you saw that Vivi just knew that he was going to land with the Nair and just immediately grab him for it. And now he has stage position. Stage Oh, my God. Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yo, even on note, raising an eyebrow like, yeah? A word? Yeah, man. All right. Well, once again, Vivi finding himself in the lead. And relatively speaking, that's not that much damage on him. Considering what Wolf is able to dish out and Lucario likes getting a little hurt, this isn't that bad. This is a really good situation, in fact, for Vivi, especially as he's managed to almost completely force Unknown lapped in percentage. Yeah, man. And th the thing is that Vivi's not really in percent for any of, you know, Wolf's kill confirms at the moment. Uh, now he is in there, in there to flash will probably work, but he has to be able to pull it off. I'm not sure if Unknown's familiar with that. It seems like Unknown is using Wolf more for the function of hit hard kill early yeah. than, like, really playing Wolf, and that matches up well to the kind of player that Unknown is. We've seen him play a lot of different types of characters. Uh, just in the past few months, we've seen some of the Mies come out, we've seen Snake. Um, you played Snake? Yeah, you did play Snake for a small one. My lord! 124%, three stocks. It just seems like Unknown is struggling over here as BB is just living. Great catch, no follow-up, unfortunately. He went too far. Oh, I, I I like the I like the attempt to call out a jump, but I mean at 153, it's it's kind of risky. <laughs> I like the the flash of the uh, reflector. I I I don't foresee VV using Aura Sphere enough that reflector is really a like a means of counterplay here. But yeah, he doesn't use it in neutral. And that's the thing. It's like it's not one of the things that you can hope to kill him with because he only uses it when you're recovering, or he uses it when you're off stage when he knows he's gonna get it. He knows that a character like Wolf can easily just reflect it. It's too high of a, it's too high of a risk for him to actually try and put that put that pressure on himself. So he's playing it safe and having unknown play his game kind of, and unknown is just struggling to find a way around this. Great pressure by VB as he tries to go off, and, but you have to be Ooh. careful. You have to be careful. You don't want him to see Wolf like that off stage. Yo, I didn't know Dare could lock. That was almost kind of cute from yeah. unknown. Super situational, but it definitely had none. All right. Yo, dash attack trading with things is always it's so like, funny. Yo, take his boot. <laughs> like, get that out of my face. Oh, good footstool. Uh, I feel like that situation right there, that actually could have been a disaster if Unknown got the read right on which yeah, direction. Yeah, it was. Know. That was a fair to bear situation. And fair to bear is confirmed on pretty much most, if not all, the cast at, at the right percents. But right now, 99%. Unknown has to play this very patiently. Gets the forward tilt by this point. Forward tilt looks like it's super stale, so it's probably gonna refresh anytime soon. Oh my! Not gonna be enough Damn. time for it. <laughs> I, yo, I love when Vivi is like happy with a win because he like completely like he like skips the movement of standing up. He just goes right from stand from sitting down to standing. You, instantly. you, you just don't see the animation. No, you, you, like you just the animation see cancels <laughs> standing up. Just like, the fist is right there just... for the fist bump. <laughs> it's so good. It's so funny, but. Congrats to VV making top eight, your loser's side.
Uh, we got another top Unknown eight qualifier, I think. Now, this is actually 